peace, infinite waters diving deep once again. The Titanic, that film which everyone has seen, most people have seen it, where the ship just hits the iceberg and people start jumping out of the ship and it's just chaos all around. Well, what if this planet has already hit the iceberg? What if this system has hit the iceberg? And that's what I feel has happened. This system has already hit the iceberg and a lot of people have already jumped ship. Some people have called for lifeboats, hurry up, get the lifeboats out. Some people have, some people are actually still on the ship singing and playing just like in the film. They're playing the violin and acting like everything is beautiful and smooth sailing. But wait a minute, we've just hit an iceberg. And some people have just vanished completely. <laughs> they've just run away and they've created something new, something more refreshing. And in my mind, I'm just realizing how a lot of us, we still suffer, suffer from amnesia. And amnesia in a sense where so many of us, we've really forgotten who we are as spiritual beings on this planet. And really and truly, so many of us, we've really relinquished our power. We've really given our power to outside forces and so many of us we're living in the realm of forgetfulness it's almost become fashionable to be stupid and not to question anything the moment you question something then we have a word for you we can just call you a conspiracy theorist or we can call you someone who needs to see the doctor and the more and more i'm realizing that living in amnesia so many people every single day are waking up waking up and becoming more sensitive it's almost like this is part of the universe's destiny it's almost like everything is happening in cycles and when you change everything around you changes as well and that's what happened to me the moment i began my awakening process which is still happening because it's not a destination it's more of a journey i instantly began to gravitate towards people who are on my same frequency. And that's what resonance is, returning to sound. It's the same echo, it's the same frequency. And more and more, a lot of people have, uh, one person wrote to me recently saying that, what do I do when I have friends who aren't conscious, who are still asleep, sleepers, who are still so heavy into, this, who are still so heavy into the system, who are still about not realizing that as human beings we're so much more well in that case for me in my own experience i realized that it's really about connecting with like minds and of course we're still going to have friends who are still going to be on different vibrations but it, in a sense it's all about making room for everything and it's really about seeing things for what they are because really and truly now the gates have been opened the internet which is the stargate is really showing us how everything is connected and everything has always been connected and really and truly technology it's beautiful how it's just showing us how we are the original technology any piece of technology i see i just realize okay that's me and technology a lot of it is trying to replace human beings it's almost trying to become the medium for what we have to go through to connect with everything around us. But really and truly, we are the original technology. Our brains are the most powerful computers on this planet. We're only using a fraction of it. If we used 90%, even 50%, who knows? I could be flying tomorrow. You could be flying tomorrow or not, <laughs> or crash landing tomorrow. Depends how good you are. But really and truly, I'm just realizing how for me, it's all about remembering who I am. And to do that, I also, I put myself into environments where I'm gonna remind myself. And that means being around people with like minds, birds of the same feather flock together. It's also about being honest with myself and not just, it's not just about peace, light and love. It's also about looking at the darker side of human beings because in the dark, in the darkness, everything becomes illuminated. And really and truly, I'm just realizing it, how the more and more we actually remind ourselves, we remember who we are, we also empower other people to do the same. Because really and truly, it's like animal circus out here. 
this system has become a jungle simply because a lot of us we've really we're not actually feeling through our heart we're not doing that anymore we're thinking through our brains which have also been programmed through educational institutions through religion through all of this uh, dogma and a lot of us we're not really sovereign beings who are really governing our inner kingdom instead we're looking for outside sources we're looking for external everything is externalized and that's why for me it's all about finding the pearls within it sounds very romantic i know but <laughs> i'm just realizing more and more that as, as humanity because the reason why i talk of humanity a lot is because i realize that there are no individuals on this planet everything is a collective we all move and that's part of the butterfly effect the magical connection between everything we're all moving as part of this massive collective and that's why if something happens to a group of society then it's also going to affect you it's almost part of the domino effect and that's why people have to really tap into their own authenticity because when people do then it helps the chain of events and really and truly reminding me who i am my organic nature i have to be in an environment which is also going to remind me of my expansive nature like this beautiful secret garden here which is just showing me the space because really and truly living in london you go around these cities and i've traveled also to some of the most beautiful islands on the planet and i just it just shows me how nature has really blessed humanity and that's why human beings i think a lot of us we have to realize that human beings we're not really mature enough to actually receive this blessing at, at the moment as a collective because if we were mature enough then a lot of us we would say okay what are we fighting in wars for what are we killing each other for and essentially when we actually remind ourselves that there's nothing really to kill or, or die for just like in that John Lennon song imagine there is nothing to do to, to go to war for all we have to do is really just be in tune with nature and that's what the ancients knew and for me that is what i'm reminding myself every day and during that process i'm also becoming empowered because i'm realizing that just as i'm becoming awake i can also be put to sleep just as quickly <laughs> and it's just really really and truly realizing how a lot of us we're not really fulfilling the dream so many of us we have all of these these dreams whatever they may be but really and truly it's all about the challenge of life which is really to push ourselves to the next level and a lot of us we really deep down know that the the creator didn't give us this big brain just across the road we've got so many untapped potentialities so many untapped potentials so many secrets stored in our brain th through our whole body of what we can actually achieve if we put our mind to it and for me that's what it's all about it's not really about being in asleep anymore or or you know because being stupid has become very fashionable i could go on youtube now and if, you know if you strip down naked or if you scream out loud or just do something outrageous you're going to get a million views so a lot of people have become entertainers instead of being their authentic selves which is naturally humorous anyway children they're laughing in the womb this is what we came here to do we came here to play we came here to be expansive we came here really and truly to enjoy the ride and more and more that's what i'm coming to realize when i'm reminding myself of what i'm here to do i know that i didn't come here just to work a 9 to 5 i've been there i've done that and i realize that really and truly a lot of other people it's not about judging what other people do because everyone has to go through their own journey their own process but really and truly i realize that as sovereign beings being free is our birthright and in essence a lot of us we have to all, for me i have to always remind myself of that and that means connecting with other like minds who realize that it's not about being in bondage anymore it's about being liberated in our minds and that requires 
a lot of inner work and it requires being honest with ourselves. Infinite waters diving deep once again. The sun is shining bright in my eyes, just how I like it. Hot and spicy. Peace.